Praise the Lord. My dear friends, today we celebrate the great feast of the baptism of the Lord. My dear friends, in this baptism of the Lord, the first thing we find is when John the Baptist was giving baptism to the people, calling out that in your sin you die. But God is merciful. He is giving an opportunity for you. Look into your life. All that is happening to you, especially what you wish is not happening to you. Sickness, pain, suffering, disturbance. Do you know why? Because of your sin. And if you repent for your sin and receive the baptism, you will be saved. God's mercy will come to you. This is what the message of John the Baptist. You are sinners and your sin will destroy you and it is destroying you. But God is giving an opportunity for you. Humble yourself. Return to God. Listen to the way of God and change your way of life. And when people heard it, they realized, yes, our lives are going through a lot of pain and suffering because of our sin. So they humbled themselves and they were standing in the line to receive baptism from John the Baptist. And Jesus, the Son of God, He also joins in that line, stands with the people. God who made heaven and the earth stands with the sinners, though He is sinless. Why? To tell the world, whenever you repent for your sin, whenever you humble yourself, God acknowledges that. God forgives your sins. And your humility before God, you are acknowledging your sins before God, will be acknowledged, appreciated and blessed by God. And Jesus stands along with the sinners. That's why he said in Luke 19, 10, The Son of God has come to seek and save the lost. My dear friends, today, check your life too. Do you go through the things which you don't want to go through? Maybe your sin is coming behind you. And Jesus stands with you, inviting you, Come, repent for your sin and receive the baptism and you too will receive the mercy and grace of God. Second, we find Jesus not only standing with the sinners, now he goes before John the Baptist and says, please give me baptism. John the Baptist was shocked. You are the son of God, the lamb of God. And I am supposed to receive baptism from you because I give you the baptism of the water. But when I saw you, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that you will give the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You are bigger than me. But Jesus humbled himself and said, Look, God acknowledges everyone who works for him, who stands for him. Maybe they are small, but whenever you stand for God, when you are faithful to the mission God has given to you, definitely you will see the Lord standing next to you to bless you, to honor you. Yes, Jesus honored John the Baptist. Today, how many families in which the wives are not willing to accept their husbands because the husbands are not behaving properly. They are not earning the money properly. They don't show love properly. How many husbands are going astray, throwing away themselves to all kinds of evil habits of drinking alcohol, prostitution and all kinds of things. Today, why? Because man doesn't realize to think that God has united us as family. A man has to 
humble himself and lift up the wife see god in the wife the wife has to humble herself and lift up the husband see jesus in the husband and the parents need to see the lord in the children and the children in their parents and their brothers and sisters and the baptism of the lord reveals to us he who made heaven and earth he humbled before john the baptist because that is the way god has arranged let it happen as the lord has arranged he said if somebody is your father your mother your brother your sister god has put you in their life in your life god has put them in your lives for a purpose stand with them there is nothing in the world we brought nothing in the world we are going to carry nothing from this world stand with one another see god in each other and build up each other and third we find jesus after receiving the baptism rising from the water yes dying to this world telling life is beyond the things in the world to the heaven to god he went to prayer prayer is very very important prayer where he humbles himself and tells the father father here i am your son here i am to do your will when he started to pray three things happened the heavens got to open he heard the voice of heaven telling he is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased third the holy spirit came in the form of the dove yes today many lives are broken because we don't humble to pray life of power comes from life of prayer prayerless life is powerless life God is calling you. Only in prayer, we will know our identity. Let anybody think of you. Let anybody speak about you. Whether you get anything from the world or not, from the people or not, when you pray, you will have the identity. You will hear the Lord speaking, You are my child and I am with you. I am well pleased with you. This identity is basic for everyone to grow. and that comes from prayer and when jesus prayed the holy spirit himself came without the holy spirit we can't live in the world it is the spirit of god who teaches us everything and baptism is that precious gift to make us to humble ourselves to stand with even the sinners to humble before the people whom god has anointed and to move into prayer thereby we get the heaven get opened for us we get our identity who we are to the lord who we are to one another that's why in today's first reading also it is written i say a 42 verse 3 onwards a bruised reed he will not break a reed is already broken it is going to fall but god will not leave put together and tie it up and make that broken one to have life again he will not allow a dimly burning wick to be quenched he is a faithful god maybe knowingly unknowingly you have fallen away from god even in sin because of that your lamp is going to be put off don't worry a god will not put off he has not come to destroy us he has come to give us life humble yourself like the master and receive the life receive the honor let heaven get opened for you let the holy spirit who leads every human being according to the wisdom of god wisdom of heaven lead you also with the power of heaven let's pray thank you lord for this wonderful feast jesus before baptism you stood with the sinners you humbled yourself before john give us that humility lord that we to may see you in one another and acknowledge you as our lord and savior second lord help us make us men and women of prayer to humble ourselves and seek your will to realize we can't live without you 
and help us lord to hear your voice to understand who we are our identity from you please give all of all of us who are listening to the word of god you the anointing of your holy spirit you said when the holy spirit comes he will lead you to all the truth we can't survive on this earth with our power and all we have in the world lord they are nothing in front of you lord and we can't live without your power from heaven lord please in this great feast day anoint each one of us give us the hunger for your holy spirit and anoint us with your holy spirit and lead us with heaven we make this prayer through christ our lord amen have a wonderful feast god bless you all